Okay, I had I, I was just thinking about it. Uh, my top five albums: Marvin Gaye, What's Going On, D'Angelo, Voodoo, Marvin <laughs> Sapp, Marvin Sapp, the Gospel Artist, Thirsty. Uh, Harmonize a little bit. Got we it. are back. I am Juice Shrug, your illustrious host. We are here with King Maul. E Swapwap. That's Dr. Carter, best in the game. Hello, that's Dr. Carter. What's going on, everybody? Sample God, how you doing? Go Studios. Feeling good, feeling good. We have a special guest. I am excited about this interview because he sent us a preview of the album and I instantly became a fan. Will yeah. Cherry, hello, sir. Yo, what's up, y'all? What's up? What's going on? How are you doing? Welcome to the show. Welcome to Color Radio. I do this show for these reasons. Hearing music first, knowing somebody's dope, and knowing what people don't know is about to smack them in the fucking face. It's amazing. Okay. It's freaking mm-hmm. amazing. Top five, and what is your social media name so that people can find you? Okay, I had... I, I was just thinking about it. Uh, my top five albums, Marvin Gaye, What's Going On, D'Angelo, Voodoo, Marvin <laughs> Sapp, Marvin Sapp, the gospel artist, Thirsty, uh, Bilal, Firstborn, Second, and then probably Kanye, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Yes. Nice. And yeah, my social and media. I, hate, I see your vibes. I, I feel the vibes in the album. So here, yeah. Makes sense. That's great. Yeah, my social media is Will Cherry with three R's and Cherry. Awesome, yeah. awesome, bro. Welcome. So the reason that I'm I'm so excited about this and and why the people, uh, Maul and and Sean Carter and probably Sample are, are gonna know by now is you have a great album in your hands, and yeah, I, <laughs> it's, it's, it's great. And, <laughs> I love to say you no, can't buy good album. music. This shit is so good, my brother. Like, like it's 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 one. I look, you got party next door vibes. Man, that's one of my favorite artists too. Yeah, <sighs> and the way everything just flowed together, like from beginning to end, like it was just fantastic. I even read the little bio that you put on um, SoundCloud to go along with it, just to make sure that I was like actually paying attention to what was going on in the album like it all everything made sense everything just flowed and it was yeah overall first listen fantastic (laughs) first listen fantastic second listen you're like oh let me catch the shit i'm not catching in the production Mm. oh let me catch the transitions okay here's my question i am going to get to you well yeah let me talk to the people that have heard it now when y'all got to the second track did you where you're like oh yeah i'm in i don't care what else he got coming i'm all in yeah that was the second track did it for me i was like yep i'm gonna go ahead and let this rock now like i switched <laughs> from my, like i was i was listening in the headphones like i had the headphones and i'm like okay let me switch this little speaker <laughs> over here so i like <laughs> i need to i need to hear it like in real life <laughs> yeah i ain't gonna lie second second track i'm like all right hold on let me just I make sure I won't trip it. Because I'm like, is this a single? Because when the first came on, like, is this a single? Like, I don't know if this is one song. And the second one came on, like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. it's the second one. Okay. Let's <laughs> so just ride out a little bit. Yeah. But I'm telling you, when I got when I got to uh, the death, say it again, death what? Death proof. Yeah. Track death three. proof. I was like, oh, yeah, this shit hard. Yeah. yeah. No, I had to let that bitch go. Then I got <laughs> to, uh, you call it Young Tay, Nicki Minaj, whatever. I don't care. I don't care. Young yeah. baby, she hey. hard. She hard. <laughs> and more, I don't know if you caught on the end of Death Proof is Tay Miles. Mm-hmm. Really, Tay Miles go crazy on the end of that. Really, really. Yeah, he's on the album twice. Yeah, yeah, and and he, I feel like he he came out of retirement for you, huh? Yeah, he, because, did. he really did. Yeah, because <laughs> he wasn't. He I, I haven't heard heard anything from Tay in a minute, and he popped up on this and do backflips on the joint. So it's yeah. it's. 
You got to you got to you got to really get an album on your hands. Now, you. my question to you is is this a a body of work you've created over the last X number of years? Is this your first like full production where you're like you're focused on each song and you're you're getting it crafted the way you want it? How many cuz this is my first time getting introduced to you. So, yeah. so I haven't dived into like you have past projects. Yet. I'm, I'm stuck on this right now. So, yeah. tell us yeah. where you started. What your influences are. Let the people know who you are. So. Yeah, this is Burgundy is the name of the album. This is my first album. Uh, I put out an EP like January of 2017, and when mm. I put that out, I was nine months into working on this album to like really? show mm. you how long I've been working on it. Um, it's been since 2016. Like I caught this moment of inspiration. I just started chasing it. I feel like that's one of my best things is that I don't let it slip away. So I've been like just refining and refining. I like probably eight of the songs were made in 2017. Wow. But it's just the version. If you heard the first version, you'd be like, oh, this is not as good because I yeah. just kept trying to make it better. So it's been a super long process, but it's been a rewarding process just creatively for sure. That's yeah. dope. That's dope as hell. Yeah, bro. It started a minute ago. So... <laughs> You said that you um that party next door is one of your favorite artists. What is the inspiration you're you're getting from the this album overall? Is it a concept album? Is it a a a collection of songs that you're just like this is a time capsule of my life over the last c- couple of years? No, it's definitely a concept album. Like the title Burgundy, Burgundy stands for blood after it's dried. Um, because like when you listen to the songs there are a lot of moments even on a song like death proof lyrically it's not like every moment talking about loss which is what the album is about but just even the idea of driving in my city like i'm death proof it's sort of about um trying to deal with grief and loss and having to process it which i hadn't really done until i started making this Mm. so that's the concept of just talking about that and I have these little like voice memos throughout the album where that's my guy Kyle Osborne and he started like talking you through it and he pushes you into each next song for like it's probably like three of them but it's just giving you an idea of the mindset that if I was a character on this album he's showing you the development of the character um, yeah. so it's definitely a concept but it's not like a super strict concept like the the concept is about grief but it's not like every song is just depressing like right it's really right, like right. three dark songs on the whole album is 10 songs but it's just, it, I want it to be like a, a thing where the concept is there. And when you listen like over and over, it's like, oh, I can hear it. But on yeah. the first listen, you're just enjoying the music. Yeah. 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 I, I think that's it where you got to, it has great replay value. Like that's sure. a big deal. I feel like, like you can replay it all you want. I can't wait to have it in uh, my, my Spotify so I can like put it as a playlist and 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 yeah. pick and choose where I want certain songs at and shit like that. You just have a great body of work, and I don't get to say that to many artists on here because they're either not out with it yet or it's not that great. It may have a few songs that I may like, but this is a a, a full project where I haven't heard a, a skip. I heard a skip. Mm. I just want to give you your flowers now because I want to say I, I, I was one of the first to hear it. I know it's dope. The promotion that. behind it, though, I'm very curious about your cons. Your are you being managed? Is this all you? I saw you got a repost from a famous actress that I that I'm, I'm I know I've seen before, but I don't know her name. But I was like, oh, this this man is is on to something. He knew that this she was in this movie and and she was gonna get it and had it already locked and loaded, ready to drop for the week before the album drop. Oh, he's different. He's different. I'm all in again. I'm I'm still all in the the, the promotion, the production, all the peas, all the peas uh, there. Yeah, I do have a manager. Uh, shout out to Big Gator Boss Man in LA. He's like my manager that is just, he came on with me in like 2017 because of Death Proof. He heard the song mm. uh, through one of the artists that was on. He sent it to him. And he's definitely given me like a ton of gems, like information. And he's dealt with like, he's been in the industry for a minute. He co produced uh, Shaba by ASAP Ferg. Ah, he produced okay. on the Dreamville album. So he has like, you know, knowledge of like the contracts and stuff like that. Exactly. But, okay. 
a lot of the so basically one of the things he told me to do is basically this the album doesn't have a rollout there is mm. no leading up to it like there's more content that i would have put out that i plan to put out before the album and he said don't do that just say the album's coming out put it out and then put everything Drop. out That's it. so it really hasn't been like a rollout yet but a lot of the ideas I are just me. so far yeah, thank you. It's, it's been me and I have like a, another team that I set up called Motherboard where we just like come up with these ideas. Like we just try to search for the ingenuity and ways that we can approach how to put the music out, how to get to people. Like we're just brainstorming really. Like awesome. to awesome. like Tracy Toms, who was in Death Proof. I just, I had the song. I knew that, you know, it's a bunch of actors in a movie. Maybe I can't get to the movie star, but maybe I can get to somebody in it. So I was like, yeah. let me just send it to her. And she liked it. She made a video for it. And it was like, I loved it. Like, it just it made me feel great. I want uh, to put it out. Shooters got to yeah. shoot, sir. <clears throat> I just went for it, man. Yeah. Shooters got to shoot. And that's, and it just looks good. I'm going to be real. It just looks good when the video matches, the song quality matches. Your personality is so far as matching, like, it just, the, the total package looks good. And a lot of people aren't, the, the industry is missing the a r that does the artist relations. Yeah. And that's building the artist, honing an artist, making a, a musician into an artist, into yeah. a star. Mm -hmm. That change, like, that change on the internet came out though. Like they want you to change be self built <laughs> They want you to be self built. Like this is from 2014 knowledge, but like on the ground floor of South by Southwest, we're not looking at you unless you can get that million followers by yourself and make that sound by yourself. And then we'll get you, we'll, we'll get a little push behind you, but like really is so changed. They expect you that. to develop yourself. Huh? Yeah, they, they changed from that. Oh, this person's talented. Let's make them an artist to, oh, this person needs to be. This, 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 and this. Okay, now let's put them on, put them in the world. There's some money behind it because yeah. they've seen it. Like they see the egg factor because the person has shined through it. You got to spot it beforehand. I, that's why I asked. Somebody has to have seen this man and knew, like, oh, yeah, he, boom, it's just, he's got to craft it now. Just, mm -hmm. just, and when it's ready to drop, it's going to look so well done. You're going to be like, how have I not seen this guy before? Where has he been at? Right. Is he from here? <laughs> oh, we got Freshie out? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like, it's a great project, sir. It's a great project. Thank you, man. Thank yeah, you so much. Burgundy. Yeah. Burgundy, burgundy, burgundy. Um, um, do you have a favorite track off of it? Um, It might be Trust, just because I made that the Ooh. most recently. The song with Freshie, I made that yeah, like a few man. months ago. So it might be recency bias, um, but if it's not that, it might be Vancouver uh, track nine, just because I like the switch up. I like how I use a sample at the end. It just made me, f I, I like to like, like yesterday I said something like out of nowhere, which I wasn't thinking about, but it was, you keep taking left turns until you make a full circle, which is mm. what I like to do. It's just left turns. And that's like a song full of those. Mm, so I love okay. that type of stuff, yeah. You went crazy on Grapevine. Thank you for yeah. Thank you. <laughs> that grapevine is one of my is one of the ones. There's a lot of one liners on there. I'm like, that's that's a tweetable right there. You you, you get your tweetables in. You got a lot of tweetables on this album. Thank you. Um, man. So you said there's more cons. Um, I mean, it's more content coming out. Are you planning on since this took that? that long of time to create are you planning on dropping more right after are you going to let this rock and run with this project for as long because i feel like this is one of the ones where you can run with it for a while and and let people just gravitate to it naturally and stuff like yeah. that and then just kind of like drop little nuggets here and there from like oh y'all heard this song here's like the video for this song yeah. and like here's like this that and how many videos and how many videos you, you got right now for this song <laughs> I got, about, the album on me. I got about like four. I'm trying to do Ooh, it's, yep. it's yeah. ten it's ten tracks, like eleven songs. So I'm trying to do eleven videos total. Yeah. I want to do a video for every yeah. single thing. Mm -hmm. And yeah. like performance videos. 
we have like like uh just conversations of talking with the people who worked on the album about the process like so it's gonna be like a lot of stuff you got and, uh, a movie on your hand like nice little uh, documentary mm-hmm. Actually, speaking of that, I I wrote like a screenplay for a short film that I want to film too. I'm trying to like nice. put that together. That ties into the concept of the album. But I'm a I fan, got... bro. I'm a fan. I can't even okay. cap. Thank you. I'm this shit. Some shit just excuse my cursing. Some art just works. Some stuff works off first listen. Some like how Diddy used to say when he was watching Making the Band, like, you get 15 seconds. Like, you get that that first 15 seconds of the song and I'm cutting it off or not. Mm-hmm. And you get past, you're like, oh, man, I'm fucking 20 minutes in? All right. But <laughs> I guess I like it. <laughs> I, I, guess, <laughs> I guess I like it. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize that I was rocking with it that whole time, but I guess I'm in. Um, do you see yourself being more of the artist type or are you trying to go for a, a like a, like I'm because I, I can hear you barring some stuff up real quick but you're you're singing do you like producing more you do it all so are you just trying to be all over it all like I'm just gonna create my artwork. I want to be like a full blown everything type of artist that can do anything. Um like I yeah I pre- I produce like on every song I mix the whole album. Ooh, rapping and singing and all that so i'm i'm definitely trying to approach it from every angle bro like i'm not trying to just go one-sided with anything for sure yes sir yes sir yes sir. Yeah. i can't even i don't have a critique for anything that's just like the the, the production along and uh, alone is like i don't care if he's rapping with some boo-boo on this who's doing the producing and the mixing on this mm. this is risky like mm, thank it's, you. it's good bro it's, it's real good um, we talked about your music. Let's get into some current events real quick because I don't <laughs> want to go too long in the because people will have been able to see the link in the bio of the album thing out but by the time this comes out. So y'all have listened to it. We'll have some songs at the end that I feel like are the, the best songs. I'm not the best song, but the songs I like other people it's like. Curated, curated for the show, you know. Yeah, curated for the show because yeah. I don't want to play the whole album, but I guess everybody will have a <laughs> like that. So fuck around, play the whole album. Fuck around, play the whole album. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about I will, it. I will say that uh, that um, do everything lane is a tough lane to be in, like doing all the producing and the singing and the mixing, and it's like because I've also done it. Like I have a couple EPs that I've done, not super big or anything like that, but just I want to do it for fun, just to say that I can do it. Yeah, and it helps in my career as well. So it gives you like that overall like how everything happens. Even if you do decide to just okay, I'm gonna be a singer now, but I know what this is supposed to sound like, so I'm gonna tell them like this is what I want it to sound like, type shit like that. So yeah. I think it's good to keep it that way because you're gonna get the project that you want to come out exactly yeah. how you felt it, exactly how you produced it, exactly how you mixed it. Right. The best yeah. way to do it, actually. Yeah. That's a good point. I feel like if you're in the music industry, I feel you have to try to create something. You can't. You gotta. You gotta try to like see if you can create a beat, or if you're a, a graphic designer, if you're, if you're an artist, if you're a writer. Like, if you if you want to be in the industry, you gotta understand the grind of what it takes to create. And I was about to say, as before, as a former artist, yes, like that feeling is definitely there. Wanting to create your own beat and critique your own stuff, but not having that knowledge to, to be fully hands on is a little bit of a hindrance. Mm-hmm. But that's exactly what you want to do. You want to get in there, make everything sound the way you want it to sound because that's the way you heard it in your head. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really crap. Really crap. Really crap. Current events, as we record right now. The, the final the episode the <laughs> is going on. Um, I don't know what, what's going on currently, but, but before I came on here, I heard him drop a bar like, uh, I guess I have, I had to cure some type of cure then, and I'm cured. <laughs> so that's where <laughs> what Trump <laughs> said, nigga. <laughs> that's where he's going with it. So I don't know what that exactly means, but. I don't even know what world I'm in anymore. I oh, know. No, no. <laughs> See you looking around like what's happening. Where's the <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, why y'all been listening? 
Like this <laughs> nigga said, I take full responsibility for the uh corona shit. It's China's fault. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I take full responsibility. Bruh. Them niggas did Bruh. it over there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, man. That is the most like six year old shit I've heard. <laughs> it's comedy. He is pure yeah. comedy. They they let that man get on stage next to Clint Eastwood's little cousin, and, <laughs> so and, and just you can hear it in like the Biden cadence that is is it's different speeds, it's different patterns of speech that they go on by in in a debate. Where it's just like you can't get a quote of out of Biden. You can't tweet the stuff he's saying. Trump is about to drop one liners for the next hour and a half on people. Mm-hmm. It's not, it's gonna be it's it's a media circus. And I hate to say it, but you gotta get out there and vote because you can't keep watching the same episode over and over again. It has to be a season finale. And and we gotta get out there and vote. And I know it sounds kind of cliche, but people have already early voted, so it's not as cliche as I thought it would be anymore because people are asking. It takes a minute, but people it's are working. Doing it. It's working. <laughs> We're not stupid. Nobody knew that Trump and Corona would happen in 2016. We just didn't like Hillary. That's it. She did. She 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 had hot sauce in her bag. Sorry, thought that was. <laughs> you know, we thought that was. What little, you think Hillary would have done? What you think? She Hillary did the nay nay, and we were like, no, no. <laughs> Our bad, you know. <laughs> she had that free show with uh. Hey, what what, what, what you think? What like, Henry would have did? What, what you mean? With the Corona what, shit, or just in general? Yeah, well, what would you think we should have did in general? Like, like for the whole Corona thing, her whole little, her whole little uh, resolution for everything. We need a bad guy, so and <laughs> we do that's just how we're set up as america we, we, we need something to get behind as the the bad thing or the bad guy so yeah, i guess we had a good guy for eight years good i mean but guys, uh, but even uh, with obama that there was a, a a bad guy to fight overseas you yeah. know or there was like Oh, that's what you mean. Fighting for, for for gay rights. There, there is some type of fight to go on that we can all get behind. Well, yeah, that's wrong. So with mm-hmm. the Corona stuff, we would have had a bad guy. But before that, she would have had four years of having some shit to talk about with Libya <laughs> and a lot of other stuff going on overseas. So mm-hmm. what would she be as seen in the best light as Trump is right now, too? Maybe not as hated, but she wouldn't be the probably the top most loved, person, dear. the mm. most loved person. So I don't know what she would have did, but on a presidential wide thing, like you can't call you know, what what's you supposed to do? Shut down America? Like Trump's a I mean, business. Like, I think that's his a, last, um, last thing he was trying to do was shut down America. Yeah. But I mean, I don't think it would have been, like, worse on Hillary just because, like, that one fuck up, it would have been, like, the, like you would have had the people jumping out of left field. It's because she's a woman, like, and women shouldn't be running America. Like, it would be that whole way. It'd be a lot. It'd be a lot. And <laughs> it's just <laughs> talking in the present right now. Everybody get, get out and vote. Go vote for the local judicial systems, school levies potholes, all that stuff. Oh, Please yeah. fix the potholes. Please, <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. Please fix the potholes. Um, new music that has dropped lately. I want to give a shout out to Benny the Butcher. He has a great album on his hands. Um, I heard good things. I haven't listened to it yet, but everybody's listening to it. And- Dom yeah. Kennedy's <laughs> rap and roll. He snuck that out there real quick, which is crazy. Uh, 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 NBA young boy, he dropped his OJ story song, which is surprisingly amazing. Like he got OJ story song, like Jay Z's, like um four 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 albums, the, the OJ story song. Oh, okay, he dropped on that beat, and he got very. He shouted out Regina Carter to have a baby with him, maybe because it'll, be, it'll go crazy for some Louisiana stuff, I guess. And he supposed to be with Mayweather. 
Yeah, you know man. I don't, I don't know about these these young boys and, and and them and their dealings, and they be switching a lot. I don't, I don't know how G Herbo's baby mama has gotten to my money bag yo status and made $10 million, as they say on the internet. So. Only fan shit or something else? No, just business. <laughs> That's what I would thought too. I was like, only fans, no. Just business. Just like, you know, ads and pop-ups and hey, I don't know. I like hair. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that uh, came out. I, I really do like the Dom Kennedy because he's been on my, like my little, he's been on a little bridge lately since that, that LA yeah. Liquor yeah. Freestyle came out. Right. Then the album wasn't the album where you self titled that album, <laughs> and I was like, All right, and he dipped off. Went, this is a good album, he's back, all good. Also, yeah. I want to give a shout out to Lil Yachty, who is re uh, like his career is emerging in Detroit rap now, and he's yeah. had hella Detroit rap features <laughs> and going crazy on them for real. And it works. You the first one. Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's working crazy. And he got these. And and, and, and when Yachty is ready to rap, yeah. he goes to D- Detroit to rap. It started with, with I gotta hear this. I got oh, to hear man. this. I was on YouTube and got into a hole. And uh and and the way the, 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 the Detroit rappers rap now, it almost yeah. sounds like Cleveland Cap rap. So so it's like <laughs> Mm-hmm. I don't even know. It's like I I slid in my my brown car peanut butter whip. <laughs> <laughs> almost, yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's almost the there. <laughs> so like like, the, like twist, though, and they just take it to the extreme and they talk about VBS diamonds and all that. So it's dope though. It's dope. I like it. And it's like, you, you, you want to rap like it because it's so, like, you can get some cool ass bars in if you think about it hard enough. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm, shout out to Yachty because having him attached to it brings another light to it. Mm-hmm. And he going crazy on it. So I got to respect it. Got some Drake shit. He trying to break rappers. Got trying to break rappers. Anything else in current events we're missing? Oh, um, that. Bad. Wait, 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 what? What? The iPhone 12, the 12 drop. That's it. Oh, yeah. Mm. Um, <laughs> no drop tomorrow. Well, you know, it'll, it'll be out by it comes time. out. And it like bigger, a little faster, and a couple more cameras. Shit, I don't fucking know. I looked at the VIN a little bit, but I didn't pay too much attention to it. Too it's much, smaller, so. a little faster, a couple more cameras. It's bigger, a little cameras, a couple more cameras. Mm-hmm. It, it's, mm. it's medium a camera. Uh, I think they use them like a new chip, <laughs> or is that the Max that's coming out with the new chip? I don't know exactly which one. <laughs> Look is at this like, I'm, I'm right. That's, that's all it is. Y'all <laughs> niggas are funny. What? <laughs> 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 Couple <laughs> cameras, a little bit of cameras, a little bit big, small, or some shit. You know, I didn't watch the event, man. I watched the recap. But I wasn't like about to sit there and watch a whole hour for a phone I'm never going to buy. Like, we <laughs> fine. You're, you're right. All you guys are right. A couple cameras, lightning speed, a little bit of size. <laughs> all that, all and they, did stuff. they change the chargers? Oh, and the fucking the phone ain't coming with chargers. Uh, uh headphones yep. no more. That bitch ain't coming with no uh, no block, no headphones. You get a cord. You get a cord. Oh, they still give you a cord. And on top of that, the cord, <laughs> the cord got a seat cable at the other end. So you guys buy a special block. The uh, Apple they sell it for about fifty dollars. Wow. Yeah, the pixel, <laughs> the pixel ship like that, too. There wasn't no regular USB. Like, it had the C side C- 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 on the end. So, you could only... Oh, don't worry. C- Samsung C- about to be the same way. Don't worry. Hey, I'm not buying a new phone just yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm under no, this S9 until it falls apart. <laughs> All right. Will Cherry, sir. The way we like to wrap up the show, we go around and say what we're reading, watching, or listening to, just to give the people some homework. Go home with. We're gonna start with Sean Carter. What are you reading? Watch the this is for? Um, reading. I'm reading this manga right now. It's like Kuroko's Assassin Adventure. Is the funniest shit I ever came across. <laughs> Basically, Do you speak like Japanese yet? Uh, halfway. Yeah, I'm still like, 
still oh, learning okay, ahead, here and there. So. <laughs> but um, basically, it's about this uh, like middle age of like middle age office woman quits her job and becomes an assassin by accident. So like, <laughs> it's definitely an interesting tale sure. to be following, and it's kind of cool. Um, watching Finnish Lovecraft Country. Yeah. Super sad, but I mean, yeah. hey. Um, good, good show. It was good though. It was a, it was a good show. Um, watching this show called Soulmates on AMC. It's mm. Interesting. It's basically like so. The premise is um, there's a test out there in the world that if you take it and you can match with your soulmate instantly, the person you're supposed to live your life with forever. And like it's just different scenarios of people who take it and what happens. Like people take it, have been married for 17 years, find out their soulmate is somebody who lives in Brazil. Do you break up with the break up with your person who you built a family with to go live with this person, or are you just kind of I don't yeah. know, like it's <laughs> huh? You gotta you gotta see what it is. You gotta you gotta have dinner with the person. You ain't about to yeah. just not me, me, you're not gonna not meet your soulmate. You don't gotta act the wish you don't gotta have sex with him. You gotta yeah. meet him. <laughs> <laughs> you know? At least gotta meet him, put a put a name. You gotta play face. a video game together or something. I don't know. It, it was not <laughs> physical, but yeah, so I'm watching that. Um, I'm not going to dive into the anime side. I'm going to leave that for another day. And listening to, I've been stuck on Victoria Monet's Jaguar, and I'm looking forward to Ariana Grande's when she's coming out. So yeah. that's it for that. <laughs> Will Cherry, what are you reading, watching, or listening to, sir? I have to be honest. I haven't been reading much at all. I should read some more stuff, but I haven't been recently. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, hey. well, just think yeah. I recently. Uh, I finished Lovecraft, which I thought was really good. Um, yeah, sir. preach. And I, I like I, I I've been it's been a while since I've like really watched anything because I've been so focused on finishing the album. And I have a band called Starlight. We've been working on stuff for that. It's gonna come after the album. Hey. But, I did watch this film called The Trial of the Chicago Seven. It's an Aaron Sorkin film. It just and, came out, didn't it? Yeah, it just came out. It's amazing. Uh, mm-hmm. He wrote The Social Network and Steve Jobs and oh, those like, are some solid movies. Yeah. He's one mm-hmm. of the best. He's one of the best writers on the planet, and he's a really mm-hmm. good director too. He has like a dope, very simple style. It's like a courtroom drama based on um, this this riot protest that happened in Chicago in the seventies. Uh, it was like near the the DNC, the Democratic National Convention, and um, Bobby Seale of the Black Panther was, uh, Party was on trial. Fred Hampton was sitting behind mm-hmm. him. Then it was all these white guys, and they were basically one of the best lines in the film was this guy said, um, "How much can how much can we pay you?" Or what, what was the quote? It was something basically along the lines of he was asking, "How much would it take for you to give up the revolution?" And the dude, Abby Hoffman, he said, my life, which I thought was like one of the hardest lines mm-hmm. ever. But it's just an amazing film. And actually, Fred Hampton got killed during the trial. So wow. it just it's really like it's nuts. The story of what mm-hmm. happened, it, like the judge was just he was a terrible judge. It was very obvious that he was biased <laughs> against them. <coughs> That's crazy. I got to watch this. And the government yeah. was suing them. So, of course, you know, this is right. a really interesting film. Yeah, definitely. Definitely on the watch on Netflix. Now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I watch that. Are you look? Are you listening to anything right now? Or uh, yeah, I've been. There's this song on Bryson Tiller's album with Drake, "Out of Time," which is like one of mm-hmm. my favorite songs right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Wes Will's album, in case you were wondering, it's a great album. So okay. just that. Now I don't really listen to that much current music, honestly. Right, right, right. Got oh, so you like the you know like the vibes? Yeah. King Ma, what are you reading, watching, or listening to, sir? Man, honestly, I'm reading, watching, <laughs> and listening to my goddamn baby. Man. That's, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't been watching much TV for real, honestly, uh, recently. Uh, shit, listening to. I don't know, man. I I just been. <laughs> 
Shit's on random. Let the radio play. I've been, I've been, I've been working. I've been, I've just been working, man. I've just been moving. I've been working. I ain't really sat down yet, honestly. So understand. I got shit for you right now, bro. (laughs) Happens. That absolutely happens. I'm gonna make mine quick. Netflix. I'm watching the hunting of Blair House. It's Mm -hmm. like a. You know, spooky Halloween joint. Um, I am listening to the Benny the Butcher album. Dope. Uh, I might give that Bryson Tiller a listen to. That was, song specifically is the song. I didn't love the whole album, but that song is crazy. It, yeah, I want to give him a play because... It's his first album back in a minute, and I want to give him a play. Say, how many years was it from the last album? Like, like 20, yeah, like, yeah, like 2017 or so, like that. So, it's worth giving him a shot, you know. It's worth just, you know, saying, Hey, bro, welcome back. I am, you know, who I'm very excited about Tezo Touchdown. If y'all are not hip to Tezo Touchdown, he's from Houston, Texas. Ooh. He made the Stop Being a Job, Sucker. You don't want to be a job, sucker. That oh, song kind of Why you hate like a job, sucker? Should have went yeah. a job, sucker. But he can really make like <laughs> songs. And he has, I'm about to just go to it. And we're going to take the time. He had, <laughs> <laughs> have the listen, listen, listen to segment, man, like the old days. <laughs> he has the best snippet that I've heard in a minute. And touchdown, but today we he's he remixed <laughs> the, the, the stars at night are big and bright. So that's what he oh you know. Okay. Issues, uh, right? No, I didn't know that. Well, he is, but like I was saying, I'm the producer, stylist, writer. Wait, writer? We were under the impression that Tizo wrote all his songs. No one does it alone. Well, what were some of the songs you were a part of? I give you a hint. Wow. Well, we know Tizo spends a lot of time writing his friends' letters, so our first of all, how cute. Dear- damn it, that's the wrong one. Anyway. <laughs> I'll plug it. I'll plug it. It's two clips of him and you can't see it. It's two clips of him and I co sign you, Juice. I co sign. Yeah. yeah. He, he's dope. Fuck with him. Tezo touchdown. <clears throat> he's unique. He has he has a cowboy hat on. You don't love him. I saw the clip it with him uh, doing that, doing that little skit. Mm-hmm. Yep. Move it at that. See, see, <laughs> just, yep. That's it. up to how he looks. You can't judge. No, him. no, 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 no. When he did bang. the football, now when he did the foot, oh, he was on a football field joint thing. Oh, that was yeah. pretty cool. You talking about uh 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 uh? Videos hit. So <laughs> I see videos. <laughs> He has such long intros. Fuck this guy. Oh, you, oh, you playing the song? You know the song. <laughs> there we go. Oh, He's different. He's different. I like it. I'm sorry. I like it. It's dope. He's he's super skinny. The jeans are super skinny. He has spiky hair. He's he's a he's black. He has unique videos. I love it all. But that's it. That's my rating. Watching the listening to Will Cherry, Burgundy coming out. It's out by the time this is out. Yep, yep. Give us shout outs, please. Tell us what you got coming, what you got doing. Promo. I have a ton of content coming. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to short, uh, shoot the short film like through the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Um, but a bunch of videos bunch of visual content bunch of audio content we're going to start a new thing called starlight fm which is going to be like an online radio show where we 
like play some of the songs that didn't make the album. We're going to be talking awesome. about the process behind it, interviews with other artists and stuff like that. Um, I'm about to start a multimedia project called My Burgundy because Burgundy, to me, like I said earlier, it represents the dried blood. It also represents just anything that inspires people. So I have a bunch of different people in different parts of the world talking about what their version of Burgundy is. Uh, my band Starlight, uh, probably coming out in 2021 ton of new music my best music like if you thought i was rapping well on this album you thought i was singing well on this album it's even better on that awesome my second solo album is already done i'm just a lot of stuff just gonna be coming <laughs> out man. so just follow me will cherry three r's awesome 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 i'm i'm excited i'm super excited i can't wait <clears throat> thank y'all for coming thank you for having play that funky music <laughs> <laughs>